Hey friends, this is the Mr. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with a trial tea break. Give me a second. Okay, if you noticed or haven't noticed, I haven't put up a couple any videos this week. Well, I did. I put up the garlic bread video, but my problem is is my three terabyte external hard drive has been sent out hopefully to get the data fixed off it that's years worth of work on there not to mention all the footage of andrew and jackie's wedding so um but i got an eight terabyte hard drive and it's not working properly either it's almost as if they just took the same style as the one terabyte hard drive and they just started adding more terabytes without making them work faster or whatever I don't know how it works folks I really don't all I know is my one terabyte hard drive still works and I gave that away like to Ashley and Jeremy of Mapleberry Farm because I was going to get the three terabyte one fixed and even if I didn't I had the eight terabyte well guess what the eight terabyte isn't working properly you know, I turn my computer on, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. So I have done a tea break and I have been trying to upload it. And then when I noticed I loaded it from the external hard drive onto my desktop, I noticed it went load, 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 down to zero, up, load, 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 load. And that's where it stops when I was trying to upload it to YouTube. Now, I'm not sure if anybody's ever had a problem with YouTube stalling their uploads because I've been pretty mouthy about the way they've been, you know, treating people lately. So God only knows, right? If you ever had that problem, please let me know. So anyway, this is a tea break. Of, aside from that, there's all, all kinds of stuff going on, okay? And... I can't go into great detail about NAND because there are other underlying issues that are age related that uh, I'm not really at liberty to talk about and they're pretty painful to talk about. So suffice it to say, you're probably not going to see NAN here again anytime soon. Okay, there's a lot of other underlying stuff going on besides the breakage of the hip. Okay, that's all I'm at liberty to discuss because I'm no longer, I, I no longer have the information. It's out of my hands. So anyway, um, somebody asked me the other day, excuse me, it's been a rough week. I'm not going to apologize for medicating, folks. I'm not. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do, you know, recreational drugs. This is it. I medicate for pain. And I just happened to find this while I was cleaning my office. It was sitting right next to this. So I thought I took it as a sign from God, honestly, that I needed to relax and get rid of some of this pain. So I've been doing some housework while my computer's down, and I managed to get my laundry caught up yesterday. Most of it, I've got one load left to fold and another load left to put in the dryer. And my dishwasher still wonky but it works I don't know I think it's a drainage issue how he's gonna have to check into Frankie is not fixed yet but because oh we're going Friday to pick up our motor coach and I'm terrified I'm terrified this is a 34 foot behemoth and we have to leave at like 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning to get there in time to go over the whole coach we yes i will be taking my video camera but we will also do a reveal when we get home okay but i have to drive the car home and it's two and a half hours away or the truck maybe i'll take the truck but it's gonna cost us a lot in gas just to get that puppy home and then it's gonna cost us like eleven hundred dollars to register it and plate it i'm just really grateful it's not necessary that we need snow tires for those things so um, that's happening Friday and there is a video coming and I'm loving the fact that oh and as far as our land deal is concerned folks it's almost our half acre homestead plus 
Next week, or ne yeah, next week, it'll be two years since we shook hands with our neighbor on the land deal, and it looks like it's finally going to come through. I've talked to the land surveyor, and they said the new, uh, the new boundary lines and numbers for our new size lot, which is a hair under an acre, just a hair. Um, they've all been sent to Quebec and it can take a month to come back, but they were sent on the 13th of February. So we could be hearing any day now. And once I, if you notice I'm a little bit superstitious, I won't call it our half acre homestead plus until it is a registered, signed, dotted and crossed fact. Uh, T. Everybody wants, every, I've had several requests and emails about tea. Now, what I'm drinking right now, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> What I'm drinking right now is Tetley Orange Pico. And I don't know how well you can see that, but it's kind of milky today because, well, it's my second cup. First cup I make stronger. Now, people have, I've had, I don't know how many questions since the last tea break on what kind of tea do I drink? How do I brew it? Uh, how do you brew tea? All these things. Well, I'm going to tell you, folks, have you ever stood in a lineup in Starbucks and heard all the different styles of coffee that people order? Half-calf skim milk latte with no foam cinnamon sprinkle in a heart stuff, right? <clears throat> well, there's, there's as many ways to drink tea, just not, well, I guess there is fancy ways. There's herbal teas, and there's black teas, and there's China teas, and there's Earl Grey, and there's, you know, bergamot, and there's oolong, and there's as many teas almost as there is people to drink them. I am a black tea, orange pico tea person. I have been drinking, I was raised on a tea called red rose only in canada a eh? pity it was the only place you could buy it was in canada however i hate red rose as far as i'm concerned you may just strain some weeds through a dirty sweat sock and serve it up as tea and well i hate it um my cousin donna turned me on to uh tetley orange pico wow 35 years ago yeah, 35 years ago, and I've been drinking it ever since. The only problem with Tetley Orange Pico is a few years back they were listed or there was a Facebook post going around saying they were on the top 10 list of illegal pesticide, amount of illegal pesticide use. But I've never been able to prove it, prove it but I still drink Tetley Orange Pico on a regular basis. Um, however... If I want to kick it up a notch and if I can get my hands on it, one of my favorites is from England and it's called Tellers of Harrogate Yorkshire Tea. And it's one of my favorites. This to me is if you drink instant coffee every day and you love instant coffee, this is a, this this is going to Tim Hortons for a real brewed cup of coffee. My ab fab favorite is the same company, but Yorkshire Gold Orange Pico. This, if I if Tetley was if Tetley was instant coffee or just home brewed coffee, this stuff, this stuff is Caddy Luwak without the cat poop. Yorkshire Gold, my absolute favorite. Absolute favorite. Not easy to get a hold of, and it's not necessarily cheap either. Brewing tea. Now, that's a whole other ball game. It also depends on how you were raised, the region you were raised in, or the region that the people, your ancestors, were raised in. Um, how we is Welsh, Irish, and a little bit of something in there, but he's 
Uh, yes, his mom got him 23 and me for Christmas, and he is 97% British, uh, Welsh, Irish, British, or Welsh, Irish. So the other 3% we think is some sheep stealer guy with brown eyes. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it explains his affinity with the goats. I don't know, because they give him kisses regularly. Anyway, brewing tea. Now, I know three different ways to brew that I have seen people brew tea. Okay? My Aunt Josie, God rest her soul, would put a tea bag in the cup, pour some hot water in, give it a stir, and then take the tea bag and hand it to you. That's actually where I learned how to do that because I was raised on pot tea. Not marijuana tea, pot tea. Tea in a pot. And... <clears throat> our teapot never had a tea cozy when I was a kid because it was, it had a floppy lid. It was stainless. It was double walled. It kept tea really, really hot. But my father had a specific way of brewing tea because, and I'll show it to you sometime. He had a teapot that my brother brought him home from uh, Southeast Asia somewhere in Asia. And it is a Chinese teapot that goes inside an insulated basket with two little cups in it. And my father used that on a daily basis for years and years and years. And he had a way. Okay. And I turned him on to Tetley tea bags when I was 19. And he drank them until he died. So anyway, he would take the teapot. And my father was funny about the water temperature. It had to be boiling, bubbling, boiling as you poured it over the tea bags. But first, as the kettle started to boil, you would rinse out the teapot with the boiling water to heat it up. Then you would put it in the basket, put two tea bags in, and then walk the boiling kettle to the teapot and pour it in. If you turned the kettle off before reaching for the tea bags, my father got like, no, no, you have to put the tea bags in first because the boiling water has to be poured over the tea bags. That was my father. Uh, my uncle Paul, um, God rest his soul, used to boil his tea bags in a pot. I, I don't know because I've never seen it, but my dad used to tell me. He said, oh, it's an Irish way. And I knew this to be true because my neighbor, when I lived in Peterborough, when Arthur was just a baby, his name was Arthur. And his mother was from Ireland. He used to call her me ma, me ma. And he had an aluminum percolator coffee pot. You know the kind you just put on the stove and it perks? But the, the, the guts were taken out. The lid was taken off. It was just this aluminum coffee pot. And he would throw two tea bags in that, fill it half full with water, and boil the crap out of it. till there was, Literally boil the crap out of it till there was gray foam. And he would boil it, boil it, boil it until that foam did something for him. I, I, when I say did something for him, he had an eye for how it looked. And then he would pour that, pour the, the tea out into a cup and make himself a cup of tea. So everybody's different. If I have company, I heat my teapot, put the tea bags in and pour the boiling water over the pot, put a tea cozy on it. If it's just me, I put a tea bag in the bag, in the cup, and I frig, hang on a second. Okay, I forgot to have this at the desk. Somebody sent me two of these cups, and I adore these cups. I saw these online, and that they're from England. And it says, perfect every time, color matching guide. And inside the cup, when you make the tea, you pour it in the cup, and you can color match it. And this over here is just tea. That's black. This is called Builder's Brew. Classic British and milky and today this morning I am milky but I'm somewhere usually between um, milky and the classic British I love this because no one knows how to make me a cup of tea so next time I go to the States I'll be traveling with this um, and thank you to the person who sent me two of those cups because these are going in the motor coach. I'm so excited about that. Anyway, 
my like I said, when I make tea, I all I do is I throw a tea bag in the cup. Well, okay, I cheat. I don't cheat. I pour some boiling water. I hear my dogs freaking out. I pour some boiling water in my cup, give it a switch, swish, throw my tea bag in, and then I pour the boiling water in. And yes, I love this mug. Isn't it fun? It's colorful and pretty and busy. I just love this cup. Anyway, I have to go. I don't know if you can hear it, but my dogs are freaking out because my neighbor is next door wandering around his property. And uh, they take they take our boundaries very seriously. My dogs do. So, someone also asked why I don't drink coffee. I do sometimes, maybe once a month or so. I was actually a huge coffee drinker from the age when I first got pregnant with Arthur. I was big on coffee, and right up until I got pregnant with Briar five years later, and then coffee started making me sick. And ever since then. I, I've just refound my my childhood love of tea. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our, our Half Acre Homestead saying, I got to go let my dogs in. I hope I can upload this. Fingers are crossed. Take care. Mwah. God bless. I love you guys. Mm -hmm.